Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the next three episodes of Friends. This is season three, episodes 10, 11, and 12. I don't have much to say really, but I think the last episode is probably one of the best episodes of the series thus far. The Thanksgiving one, the football episode. It was, it was really good. It was like probably the best episode. Like I'm still... Uh, I'm trying to think of another episode that actually tops it, but we're just about to hop into this one, have a good time, discuss editors, but before I do, I do want to remind you guys, Patreon for the full length, uncut, unedited reactions, as well as early access to everything else you see here on the channel, as well as exclusive reactions, so if any of that interests you, hop on over to Patreon, of course, if you can't support me over there, of course, support me right here on YouTube, all you gotta do is like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, now let's stop talking, hop in, have a good time, discuss editors, alright guys, here we go, the one where Rachel quits, quits her job? Rachel? Oh, this guy. You remember when you first came here, how you spent two weeks getting trained by another waitress? Or do you need me to train somebody new? <laughs> Good one. Actually, uh, Terry wants you to take the training again. Whenever. What? Uh, Why? Do you believe that? <sighs> yeah. All right, what do we got? Rachel's quitting. Excuse me, little one. I have a very solid backhand. Watch me execute the three P's of championship play. Power, precision, shoot, and mm -hmm. finish. Oh my! You broke a little girl's leg? How? I'm gonna go see her. I wanna bring her something. What do you think she'd like? The ability to walk. <laughs> All right, see you guys. And I gotta go sell some Christmas treats. Have fun. Oh wait, no, don't. I forgot. Why? I'm totally against that now. Why? No, Selling Christmas no, trees? I'm against innocent trees being cut down in their prime and their their corpses grotesquely dressed in like tinsel and twinkly lights. Hey, how do you sleep at night? Well, I'm pretty tired from lugging the trees around. <laughs> <laughs> I sleep like a baby every night. Those trees were born to be Christmas trees. They're fulfilling their life purpose by, by making people happy. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, uh, the trees are happy too. Gunther, please, I have worked here for two and a half years. I know the empty trays go over there. Well, no, they don't. Them here. Huh. Well, you know, that's actually a really good idea. You know what? You should have the other waitresses do that too. They do. <laughs> They already do. That's why they call it the tray spot. Jeez, I always heard him talk about that. I sort of just thought it was like a club they went to. Oh. How are I'm you sorry. so bad at your job? It's all right, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, this guy's kind of weird. Well, this is a little weird. The girl who sells most wins a trip to space camp. I thought it'd be like a hospital, but it's like her room. And her parents are okay with this? The girl who won last year sold. 475. Yeah. So How many? I've sold 75. <laughs> what? You have to buy 400 boxes? Well, that sounds doable. How much are the boxes? $5 a box. And what is second prize? <laughs> Jesus. $2,000 on cookies? Little girl. <laughs> I'm selling brown bird cookies. You're no brown bird. I can see you through my peephole. Well, peep this old lady. I got cookies. You want them or not? Brown bird. <laughs> this episode's whack, bro. <laughs> this is a little weird. Hey. What are you doing here? Well, I, I thought a lot about what you said, and um, I realized oh, maybe I was a little judgmental. Oh, a little hello. bit, a little bit. Oh, now, baby, remember, hey. They're just fulfilling their Christmas... Destiny. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yikes, that one doesn't look very fulfilled. Oh, that's, well, uh, that's one of the old ones. He's just taking it to the back. You keep the old ones in the back? That is so ageist. Ugh. Phoebe would love living in this era. The modern era, what we're living in right now. <laughs> <Not there>! <laughs> 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 Hilarious. 
Like back then, they're probably like, oh, what a weird character. Now it's like normal. Mom? All right, I'll take one box of the mint treasures. Uh, no, 10. I started gaining weight after I joined the brown birds. Remember, Dad bought every one of my boxes and I ate them all. Uh, no, Mom, uh, Dad had to buy every one of your boxes because you ate them all. Oh, damn. But, uh, you know, I'm sure that's not going to happen this time. Why don't I just put you down for three of the mint treasures and just a couple of the Rudolphs? No. Okay. Hey, Ross, uh, you... how about you pay for all the damn cookies? I'll tell you what, Ma. I'll give you the first box for free. Oh, God, I gotta go! Come on, all the cool kids are eating them! And when you have a second later, I want to show you why we don't just trap spiders under coffee mugs and leave them there. <laughs> I'm training to be better at a job that I hate. My life officially sucks. Under coffee mugs? I thought you wanted to do fashion stuff. Well, yeah, I'm still pursuing that. You know, other than sending out resumes like, uh, what, two years ago? Well, I'm also sending out good thoughts. <laughs> if you ask me, you need the fear. The fear? Okay. Right. If you quit this job, you then have motivation to go after a job you really want. This is why you're going to quit? I would give anything to work for a designer, you know, or a buyer. Oh, I just don't want to be 30 and still work here. Yeah, that'd be much worse than being 28 and still working here. <laughs> Oof. Fine. Gunther, you know what? I am a terrible waitress because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care which pot is regular and which pot is decaf. I don't care where the trace uh -oh. is. I just don't care. This is not what I want to do. So I don't think I should do it anymore. I quit. I'm going to give you my week's notice. What? Gunther, I quit. Does this mean we're going to have to start paying for coffee? <laughs> Maybe. Ross, put me down for another box of the mint treasures, okay? Where are the mint treasures? <laughs> She's got a problem. I sold them all. To who? Monica, I'm cutting you off. No. J just a couple more boxes. A couple it's no more? Big deal, right? I I'm cool. You gotta help me out with a couple more boxes. Come on, look at yourself. You have cookie on your neck. Oh, God. So, how many have you sold so far? All right, check this out. 517 boxes. What? The key to my success, the munchies. <laughs> so, I, uh, I started hitting the NYU dorms around midnight. <laughs> I am selling cookies by the case. <laughs> they call me... Cookie dude! <laughs> okay, everybody stop what you're doing. I need envelope stuffers. I need stamp liquors. Oh, hey, who did these resumes for you? Me on my computer. Weren't you the guy that told me to quit my job when I had absolutely nothing else to do? Ha 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 ha! Uh, you're an adult and can make your own decisions. FYI. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call Gunther and I'm gonna tell him I'm not quitting. You don't want to give in to the fear. You and your stupid fear. I hate your fear. I would like to take you and your fear. Hey, I got great news. Run, Joey. Run for your life. No. Uh, yeah, he's got the fear. What? Rich, hey, listen. Have you ever heard of Fortunata Fashions? No. Well, my old man's doing a plumbing job down there and he heard they have an opening. You want me to see if he can get you an interview? Oh my God, yes, I would love that. Oh, that's so sweet, Joey. <laughs> Not a problem. And now for the great news. Oh, okay. Snow in a can. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at work. Come on, you want me I'd to be... decorate the window? Give it kind of a Christmas looky? Christmas cookie? <laughs> Fat ass. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 you don't want that one. <laughs> No, you can have this cool brown one. <laughs> Not the Charlie Brown? I, I think I'm gonna look around a little bit more. S sir. You gotta stop doing this. I'm working on commission here. <laughs> hey guys, I'm hey. here to pick out my Christmas tree. This one's yours. No. Is this the one that I threw out last year? <laughs> Never mind. Everybody wants to have a green one. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so emotional. I guess it's just, the holidays are just hard. Is that because your mom died around Christmas? Ugh, <laughs> I've been thinking about that. What? Oh. <sighs> How many did you sell? 
I'm not going to tell you. There's a bad man who broke Sarah's leg. Oh, shit. You're a big scrud. Oh, what? What's a scrud? Why you? Look in the mirror, scrud. Damn. I don't have to. I can just look at you. All right, girls. <laughs> and man. Let's see your final tallies. Oh, Debbie. 321 boxes of cookies. Very nice. Not nice enough. Please tell me someone beat Ra uh, Ross's. Sorry, dear, but still good. Good for a scrud. Ah! 871. That's crap! Sister Brown Bird? Good going. Who's next? <clears throat> Hi there. Hi. And batting for Sarah, Ross Geller. 872. <laughs> Although, it looks like you bought an awful lot of cookies yourself. Why does it matter, lady? Hey, how'd the interview go? Oh, blew it. And you still come I back here? Me. Oh. Come here, sweetie. You're gonna go on, like, a thousand interviews before you get a job. Gee. That's not how that was supposed to come out. <laughs> this is just the worst Christmas ever. Maybe you should just, you know, stay here at the coffee house. I can't. Terry already hired that girl over there. Look at her. She's even got waitress experience. Ugh. Uh. Oh my God! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> you saved them. I mean, aren't they like prone to house fires? Old Christmas trees are really not good. Hello. Yeah, this is she. I got the job. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, thank you. I love you. Sure, everybody loves a kidder. <laughs> I got the job. Oh, yes. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Uh, this is my last night working here. <laughs> do, do people really do this? I made some really good friends here. And uh, it's just time to move on. <laughs> Uh, and no offense to everybody who uh, still works here, but you have no idea how good it feels to say that as of this moment, I will never have to make coffee again. Now pay attention, because this part's tricky. See, some people use filters just once. So. Ah, horrible. Um. I'm sorry you didn't check this space, mm, this I'm episode has a lot of somehow this ups and downs I'll say okay presenting Sarah Tuttle's private very special space camp <laughs> here we go stand by for mission countdown 10 10 9 9, nine 8 8 8 <laughs> I like that All right, guys, so that was Friends Season 3, Episode 10, the one where Rachel quits. The episode had a lot of, um, had its moments, had a, had some ups and downs. I wasn't really sold on the whole Ross hurt that little girl storyline. just felt real, really weird. Like, I guess he was trying to, like, make up for it, but the whole bets I've seen just kind of, like, kind of gave me, like, some cringe, like, some cringe vibes, to be honest. Then there's, like, he had to sell cookies, which was kind of a cool little concept. I, I like... I like the idea of that. I feel like they've done a storyline like that in Everybody Loves Raymond where I think they did it a little bit better. Because I think you could just do... Like, if they focus more on that, you can just... You can almost create, like, an entire episode surrounding around Ross maybe competing with these damn girls. You know what I mean? Or maybe he could come across the the girl that won, you know what I mean? Who, who had her sister sell the 2,000 boxes. Like, he could have a competition with another parent or whatever who was trying to get that, um, the money for the space camp or whatever the fuck, right? Uh, Rachel quitting and having her little speech at the end there. Yeah, I get it for the, for the, 
for the for the TV show sake, that's what you do. But in real life, when you quit, you're just like, that's it. You know what I mean? So yeah, but it's kind of funny that she's quit for a better job, and essentially, it's the same job she she was doing. It's it's just that she's just gonna have to kind of deal with that and kind of go from there. You know what I mean? But at least she's 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 out of um, the service industry and she's into where she wants to be. It's just now she just kind of has to uh, navigate the waters and hopefully get herself on the right track. So. <laughs>